Cook again, y'all. We want to start like Let's Players here, and welcome to part three of Skullgirl Second Encore. Well, this time we're going to be starting with Parasol Story. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the 5 o'clock Canopy Kingdom News. I'm Rachel Wong, reporting from our studio in the nation's capital, Canopolis. Frank has the night off. In our top story today, there have been numerous reports of Skullgirl sightings in New Meridian, leading the Canopy military to raise the Skullgirl alert level mob. New Meridian citizens are advised to stay indoors, remain vigilant, and report anything suspicious. The newest information has yet to be identified, but our sources within the NMPD say her victims seem to be connected with the prestigious Medici family. Lorenzo Medici, the most prominent of this powerful clan, has withdrawn from the public spotlight and is believed to have gone into hiding. Having just observed the seventh anniversary of the defeat of the previous Skullgirl, our kingdom's own Queen Nancy, Trinity bless her soul, the appearance of a new Skullgirl is a chilling development. While expected, the core of our nation is once again shaken as normalcy seems to be returning. But we will not be defeated, and we will stand strong against this In related royal news, the eldest daughter of Queen Nancy and King Franz, Princess Parasol, has successfully apprehended the infamous Gigan half-breed terrorist, Scythana, with the help of her elite military force, the Black Egrets. As reported earlier, Siphona attacked the Renoir Grand War Memorial in Canopolis and has been detained in Alistair Maximum Security Prison. So once again, thanks to Princess Parasol and the Black Egrets, you can sleep easy at night, even as this new threat has emerged. These uncertain times, it's good to know that we can always rely on the strength and leadership of our Canopy Royal Family. Good night, and Goddess Speed. I'm bored. This is boring. Let's go already. I want ice cream! You were the one that wanted to come. What did you expect? Yeah, well... I changed my mind! I thought I'd get to see you beat up bad Sonic boobs, pool balls, and KFC combos. You know, the good stuff. Not just stare at smelly prisoners for hours on end. It's a prison. Why would I beat up the people we already captured? Fine, fine. We'll all put the kingdom's safety on hold for your ice cream. You little brat. Seriously, what am I going to do with you? We'll go after we return to the castle. Hooray! I knew that all that nagging would pay off. Ready to go, Umbrella? I've got the car waiting. Jeez, it's about time! Let's see now. I'm gonna get strawberry, and hunger and we'll have... Commander Parasol! Commander? At ease, soldiers. What's going on? Your Highness, we have confirmed intelligence that the new Skullgirl menace has surfaced in New Meridian. So, it begins. Sorry, Umbrella. It looks like your ice cream will have to wait. Molly, assemble the Black Egrets. Execute Operation SG-009. Preparations to mobilize to New Meridian immediately. Finally, some real action. I call shotgun. Umbrella, stop it. This is serious. You know you can't come. It's just not safe. What? I just want to see you and Krieg in action. Adam, make arrangements for Umbrella to get some ice cream. And keep her safe. Uh, yes, sir. Operation, uh, Chocolate Dawn will commence post-haste, sir. I don't want ice cream anymore. I want to go too! Umbrella, I promise I'll make it up to you someday. After I'm done with the Skullgirl. One day you'll understand. No! You always say that! Don't be that way. 
Our people need us now more than ever. Do you know how important this is? The safety of millions is at risk. I don't care. I'm always locked up in this crummy castle with your stupid lieutenants. They hate you! Why, you... I don't have time for this. We'll discuss this later. Egrets roll out to New Meridian. Sir, yes, sir! Uh, my chest... Wait, is that... Mom? Now, Your Highness, uh, Umbrella? About that ice cream, where did you want to go? Now, where did she run off to? Okay, so yeah, this is Parasol. Uh, she is the princess of the Renoir family. Uh, the same family that uh, Vitaly actually mentioned during the end of Cerebella's story. So I figured that I'd do this story right after Cerebella's. Because, I don't know, it, it just kind of feels like a good uh, transition. But yeah, she's the princess of the Renoir family, which are the rulers of the Canopy Kingdom. And she has a younger sister known as Umbrella, which you've already seen earlier. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they are pretty much a, they're pretty much a bit, really big deal considering that, uh, she's actually the leader of an affiliation known as the Black Egrets, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, and despite how she looks, she's actually 25 years old, which is, you know, a really, really odd, no, I, I wouldn't say odd, like, I would assume that she looks older, but, like, she's actually 25 years old, so, yeah, for her looks, I say that is really appropriate considering that uh, she's well as all black, and not to mention she has purple panties on, <laughs> which is my favorite color. But yeah, I, yeah, I want to get this out of the way. I forgot to mention this in the earlier parts. Skullgirls has quite the amount of fan service in this game, despite the game being sense world censoring uh, certain things. It still has its fan service in the game, uh, as you know, I noticed by the. Uh, the uh, jiggle physics as well as the panty shots as well. So yeah, this game is pretty much up the top. And uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and as for a voice actress, uh, she's voiced by Erin Fitzgerald. Uh, even if you don't know, she's uh, a really, a really well-known voice actress. She uh, she's actually voiced as Naz from Ed and Nettie, which was an old cartoon. Uh, she voiced as Felly from the Puyo Puyo series. Uh, and she was the voice of Noir uh, before being replaced with uh, Erica Mendez. So yeah, but the craziest part is that her Japanese voice actress is Ri Tanaka, and she's actually the Japanese voice actress for uh, Neptune from the Neptunia series. So, so we have Noir's old voice, English voice actress, as well as Neptune's Japanese voice actress, both voicing this character, which is. Pretty much of a crazy combination, but hey, I am all for it. I am all for it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, she's the leader of the Black Egrets, as their mission is to find and, des and defeat the Skull Girl. And, uh, yeah. And she also has a living weapon known as Krieg, which is one of the four umbrella weapons that, uh, their family owns. Uh, Umbrella also has her own weapon, which is Hungarn. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. The, as for the other two weapons, they're Arrow Bung, however you uh, pronounce it, and Todd. So there are four Umbrella weapons that the family wields. Parasol, we have confirmed reports that the Skull Girl has been spotted near the River King Casino. Sir, target confirmed. Excellent work, men. Advance on the target immediately and aim for the Skull Heart. We don't have a clear visual on the Skull Heart. The target is blocked by... It's her sister, Princess Umbrella. What? What is she doing here? Umbrella! That's the Skull Girl! Get away from her! No, sis. It's Mom. She's back. What? What are you talking about? That's not our mother! Very touching indeed. Who knew our steely princess had a soft spot? 
Leave her out of this. Your fight is with me. Normally I'd comply, but this girl seems special. She appears to share a powerful bond with the Skull Girl, and that warrants further study. Don't worry, though. The experiment should be relatively painless. Now, if you'll excuse us. Come back here! I can't allow that, princess. Duty calls. So, apparently, Umbrella has the blood of the blood of the skull girl i don't know but apparently they want for umbrella to become the next skull girl because apparently their mother they're actually the uh, daughter of king france as well as queen nancy and queen nancy was actually the previous skull girl so now they're trying to recruit now they're trying to get umbrella to become the next skull girl which is kind of crazy considering her age but then again, Marie, then again, Marie herself, she's actually pretty much like 13 or 14 years old, so... Yeah, this game is something else, I tell you. Pathetic imposter. Everybody, split up and search the cathedral. Find the Skull Girl and my sister. Sir, yes, sir! I'll save you the trouble. Your sister and the Skull Girl are in the catacombs deep below. Time is running out for the umbrella. But I'm afraid we can't let you interfere. You'll pay for this, demon! My, my, such anger. Your mother used to pray for peace here every day. How disappointed she would be. Okay, so there are so there are some things that I wanted to like uh cover about Parasol. Uh firstly it's her attacks. Uh she has napalm attacks, which are named after a thickening agent often mixed with a petroleum or similar fuels in order to make bombs which was used in during the cold and iraq war which i don't know much about but like yeah that's a thing that's the thing with her attacks i like the but like the thing is whenever you fight whenever you fight parasol during someone during a certain character's uh during a certain character story the one attack that she uses the most is the napalm shot which is a good attack but can be a bit annoying when the computer is using it too much but yeah, I do like her attacks a lot. What I do find a bit odd is her symbol that is, uh, which is an upside down cross. And if you don't know, that's pretty much one of the symbols of the devil. Uh, other two symbols, that being the 666. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm not really so sure what you think of it, but hey, I don't think that's pretty much like Satan representation or anything like that, but yeah. I have done nothing. 
She was too weak to wrest the heart from me herself, so we waited. She reminds me of an old friend. Let her go! I can't. Her bond with the heart drains her life as we speak. It cannot be stopped. Unless someone takes her place, the only way she can live now is as the Skull Girl. Can we get ice cream, Mama? I'll destroy you, monster! Such violence. Have you learned nothing from your father's mistakes? So yeah, there's also a bit of a backstory behind Pelosol and her mom. Apparently when she was a teenager, as I said before, Queen Nancy became a schoolgirl and she participated in trying to take her down alongside alongside her dad, along with Big and Big Band, another character which we'll get into later. But uh yeah, before I continue, I just wanna like uh I just wanted to like make this uh bit apparent like Keep in mind of what Marie said when she said she reminds me of an old friend. We'll find out once we get to Peacock's story. But yeah, to continue on, yeah, they she teamed up with her dad and Big Ben in order to take her down. And <laughs> believe it or not, believe it or not, it resulted in fight. <laughs> it, it it was the resulting fight. It ended up stopping the war, but it costed her dad's life. So. Because of that, it caused her to become the head of the Canopy Kingdom. So yeah, let's just say they had a pretty deep past, but uh, it's gonna be even it's gonna be even more crazy once we get to Umbrella's story. But we won't be getting to that for a long time until the DLC stories have been fully voiced. There's no other way then. Skull Heart! I wish my sister will never become the Skull Girl! Your sister shall be spared. And in time, you shall take her place. Are you okay, Umbrella? Come on. Get the cereal. Sleep well, sis. Because tomorrow, we start your training. And that was Parasol's story, and that's pretty much how it ended. Uh, she tried to destroy the Skull Heart, but unfortunately, Umbrella was too close. And if she would have taken the shot, that would have killed Umbrella in the end. So she had no choice but to use the Skull Heart to make sure that Umbrella doesn't become the Skull, the next Skull Girl. But in return, she has to become the next one instead. So yeah, it, <laughs> there was no other option for Parasol. In fact. There was actually an unused ending where Peloso actually decided to risk shooting the heart with Umbrella getting caught in the crossfire. So, and afterwards, she sadly apologizes to Umbrella 
saying knowing that it was the only way to save her kingdom and umbola pretty much assured that she always does the right thing before presumably dying so yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty much glad they did not use that in it because i have a feeling that would that would have been i think that either might might have would have been controversial or maybe people wouldn't really take really really enjoy that that ending considering that it was way it was a bit too dark then again then again idea factory did uh created the conquest ending for mark ii <laughs> which i thought was one of the saddest endings but at the same time you know it's, it's not really canon to the story so there's really nothing to worry about but uh yeah that was parasol story uh the next story i'm gonna be doing is peacock's story but until then this is the starlight let's player signing out as always Goku Genyo, and have a star day, everyone.